Recon Trail. Uh, just been walking along the foreshore, on and off the road on a track. And now we're leaving the foreshore and we're going to be heading up into the mountains. The views are going to be spectacular up there, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, really good looking forward to it. Um, we we'll had a good night. It's a bit chilly this morning. A bit cool. Got my gloves on and really looking forward to it. So I'll catch up the on the mountain. Well, it's a pretty nice walk so out far. I'm just climbing up through a uh, lovely beech tree forest. It's very pretty. Uh, moss covered uh, rocks and stuff. Nice and shaded under here. It's awesome. But it won't be long before I'm up above the tree line and it'll be a completely different story then. So I might catch you down the trail. Or up the trail, so to speak. Lovely lunch break that I've had. Um, um, I even had a bit of a power nap. Anyway, I've got uh, 12 k's to the river, a Hapiri Riri River, which is apparently the biggest river crossing in the South New South Island. Um, and then another couple of k's to the car park, and I don't know what we'll do after that. We'll see how far we go. But anyway, I'll catch us down the trail. and they put everything waterproof and work out how I'm going to get across and I'll catch you down there. Alright, I've reached the water's edge. To say I'm a bit worried is a bit of an understatement. I'm going to put this camera away in a minute. My plan is to cross it here and walk up that island and then it, it, it seems a bit better up the other end. But crossing here is the tricky part, so I'm a bit worried. All right, catch us all later. Oh well, we've uh, completed the river crossing. It was a bit uh, stressful, but we managed to do it without any problems. It only just made the bottom of my shorts just a little wet. So we did well, but there was quite a bit of pressure there. I had to be very careful. Now I'm starting the next section, which is up here, up and through these mountains now. So there's apparently a private hut nine kilometers away. So I'm hoping to be able to do that in maybe two and a half hours or something and see if we can get there have the evening there. All right, we'll see you later. Folks, 
camp. I set my tent up outside because um, the gentleman, there was a gentleman in there and he he's wanting to go to bed and I was still going to have to cook and all that. So, um, and this is a private hut, this is not a um, department of conservation hut, so you have to pay. It's ten bucks inside, five bucks outside, so save myself five bucks, so, yeah. So, this is the view. Nice stream down there, it's going to serenade me to sleep tonight, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, sun's, sun's about to set. Well, it has actually set behind the mountains, but it's going to be good. And tomorrow we'll head up that little there, that valley, and head out over the saddle, over Martha's saddle. So today was a, a massive day. Didn't quite expect it to turn out quite that massive. Ended up being nearly 40 k's, including... Um, so that wasn't on the road. That was all, you know, hiking. <clears throat> Went over one, uh, one uh, saddle that was about 1500 meters and then down and then, back, then across that dangerous stream and now I'm back up to about 900 meters so and tomorrow I'm going to go over another Martha saddle which should be about 1600 meters so plenty of cl cl climbing. I've had dinner I'm going to go make myself a hot drink now and just catch us later.